Hello folks and welcome back to Core Farm. Here we are, we're starting to do the road in, so and already Crash Counter plus one. <laughs> Just started off the episode and already crashing Crash Game us two. But yeah, so in this episode we are starting to do the roll in. We need to roll all of our fields, get that yield bonus. There we go. So we have a look here. Look at the yieldage. Yield bonus, 68%. So... Oh, 75% now. It's so updated. So yeah, we need to put fertilizer down as well. It's only half fertilized, so... But we can do that when they start growing or something. Not too much of an issue at the moment. But yeah, I think now, since we've come to the end of March, I think we can fast forward a few months afterwards just to advance time a bit, to progress a bit, because I think now don't really have to do much, unless we get any contracts popping up, which I don't know if they will, they should do. thought we've had more in March, but yeah, still nothing. Greenhouses are doing good, apples are doing good, so yeah, at the moment it's all working out really well for us, so we have do you think we need to have a pallet storage facility so all the pallets we could be producing? Just simply because we are producing a lot of pallets. Obviously if I had 75 grand, I'll get the production that will get some apple juice, I think it is. Yeah, apple juice. Yeah, we can go with apple honey, but we need sugar and bees for honey. We can buy the sugar in. Don't think that's out of the realm of possibilities. So if I have a look here, do I have the particular mod in enabled? So no, it's not those. No, I don't. But yeah, pretty sure there you get like the pallet add-ons. Or was it the pallet edition? Yeah. Yeah, it's all here, so. But yeah, we can look at that. See what the prices are. If it's worth it, then yeah, sure. We can buy some sugar in, import some sugar to get some apple honey, but. I think if you can just go with apple juice, like. As we had a look in that episode, they are really good all year round, like prices wise. Because yeah, if we have a look at the prices. Go down here to apple juice. We'll see what I'm on about. So yeah, apple juice. Here we are, 3700 at the moment. We'll go up to 4100. So that's up till November time. Uh, crash counter plus three. But yeah, this is going to be a lot of work for us to do. Yeah, maybe you could go away without rolling, but we need the yield bonus. And at the end of the day, it's going to benefit us with an extra 2.5% of yield. Could this make a difference of tens of thousands of pounds for us, potentially. But, anyways, we will start off with doing a little quick time lapse. We'll get it all done. And then, hopefully, we'll be in April and we'll be doing some more contracts.
so that means contracts. So we've got a few contracts available, so let's go and grab these bags a sec. So yeah, we've got some contracts available, so we got two stone contracts on 133 and 136. There are small fields, but heck it, why not? And then we've got a frozen contract on field 95, so that's why we've got all the equipment down here. We've got pallet our fertilizer, got our fertilizer spreader over there. And also we do have some fuel because we do need some fuel. We've got fuel at the farm, so whilst we're down here. Heck it, just buy a pallet of fuel. There we go, that's filled up to the brim. And this should be also enough for the planter here. Even though we got seen that at the back of the farm. So no harming. And purchasing some more. Now I'll just try to find. This one here, perhaps? So, ah, it's that one. So, if we have a look. Yep, 96% filled. Actually, that was almost bang on. So, yeah, also, we need to get the top of the fuel in a sec. Smash into our equipment from the dealer. Yeah, it's only going to take a little bit. It's only going to take. 3200 litres or so. There we go, that's rapidly filling up. And yeah, we'll leave the rest at the store. I'm sure there's going to be more contracts. But also, there is some hay contracts, so we're still demoing the tether, so we can do that. Also, we need to look at borrowing a wind rower. So, obviously, we sold a wind rower before. So, for contract work. Ooh, yeah. I could wind row it 20 meters. We do have the tractor for it. 60 meters at 240 horsepower. Actually, what's the price difference there? 52 and a half grand. That's 240. If we... Uh, where's our... There we go. 240 plus... Actually, that could work. That'd be 485. For the 60 meter one. And... We can use the... Fent for that, so... You know what the heck is? Do something different. So, okay, wind rowers. Not 20 meters, but 60 meters, sure. Is there a fence brand? Chrome John Deere fence. I won't get fence. Classic green. Yeah, that would work. I'll actually change the sandwalk, keep that black. So 2700 quid that costs us. A bit expensive, but if you know what? That is not an issue for us, so there we go, just quickly do that. So yeah, now let's go add Philip, so yeah. Desperate for fuel for the Massey. John Deere also needs fuel. So let's get fueled up and then head to the fields. And there we go. All suited and booted to go. So, yep, we've got workers underway heading to the fields and start doing seeding and planting. Of course, we're going to have to help out that just because of the angle and that of the fields compared to north and that. So, but yep, yeah, they sorry, they'll crack on that. And we've got this field here to do, so we need to find the entrance. Oh, <laughs> what's that crash number five, six now? Something like that. So yeah, here's a gate over here. Workers blocked apparently. Ooh. 
really could just give yourself a bit more of a wider berth. How hard is that? So hopefully now it doesn't crash into the bloody Oh he's uh Okay fair enough the gate was shut so wide fence there on that but I'll manage to find against the fuels, but who uh, knows? So, yeah, let's go and get the words. Turn it on. And get the work run away. So, that's you. You don't have any more issues? No? Got the bridge just fine. That's good. So, yeah, as I was saying, we got some work to do. So, I think what we'll do is. A little quick time lapse off, just getting a few contracts done. Open the gate here. Let's get the hay will do. And that what I'm thinking is we try to keep as much of the hay as possible. So obviously when we do our next batch of TMR, we have pretty much free hay basically. That's easier said than done, because obviously the size of the bells we're gonna be doing, but they're all going to the same sell point, the farmer's market, so... Yeah, if one, let's say, half a bell goes in there and sells... You know what? I'm not too worried about that. Plus, we do need money at the moment. At the moment, we're just getting by. We're going to be fine until when we do the thin seed in that. Or sell... not the thin seed, um... Phil beans. Sell the Phil beans in June. So, overall, I'm not worried on that. Oh well, yeah, workers seem to be going right, so yeah. Let's go. It is all sorted, and I'll see you folks whenever we're done here, so yeah. Okay, it's done, and I'll see you folks in a few moments.
and there we go. We are done and we've done some more contracts. We've done three size contracts and now we're just taking the bells over to Town Store Bells. With the hay contract, we got 72,000 euros left over. We already put one bell in, the one small bell we accidentally made at the start. That's gone directly into the sheep at Stonebridge and that consumed it straight away. So we get to left with 64,000 euro big bells. And before the store shuts at six, let's go and sell these bells. So 221,000 years. And this will really help us with having the money for the apple juice production and things like 75 grand it is. So let's go and see how much money we can make. There we go. And ignore that minus like 9 trillion. But yeah, 56 grand we made from those bells, so not too shabby. Oh, come on. Really? But yeah, I thought we were going to make more money than that, so. Alright, what I'm going to do is simulate that money coming in, so let's go to the bank. Transfer money. Six thousand and seven hundred. Not not too fast about the forty quids. So yeah, that leaves us with a hundred and forty grand. So yep, yeah, I am happy about that because if we have a look here, go into our factories. to yeah, the apple tree factory. The only problem is finding the space to place it, so I think if we go up the road, you yeah, head over to the farm. It's not really too much. Maybe put it in the cow's fields. But yeah, it just looks wrong, that does. I should have moved. What about this old. Ah, what about here? There's gonna be a bit of terrain reforming though, so. Yeah, I'm not particularly keen on that, so. I may look at some other places, even if it's like a small plot of land we can buy, and then just place it there. But yeah, so let's look at the contract situation now. We've got one more size contract on 70. Yes, please. And got some more hay contracts, which we may do. But yeah, not too fuss on that. But yes, we get out of here before the gates close at six. It is his totally shut, right? Yeah, 6 p.m. Yep, there we go. They're sh showing up for the night. So yeah, 70, where's that to? Up here, right? So yeah, not to worry, we'll get our mowers over, get all that done. Well, that's going to be for the next episode, so yep. Yeah. As always, we're going to leave it here today, making pretty good progress now. Money-wise, we've got more of a better situation. Uh, oh, 6R. Now we've got one of those. Don't need an upgrade combine. Well, yeah, so I think next time we'll start looking at the apple juice production. Get that going. Because I think we've already got some apples, so. Actually, let's so have a quick look, shall we? What's right here? I think Superish Farm is just around the corner. There we go. So, where do we turn in here? Nope, not this way. This way we'll cut from here. And yes, we've already got pallets of apples. Looking good. Ok, 
Patent Diff do so we need a front leader over, so they're looking alright, easy to access. What about the ones over here? How are you doing? That one's a bit skew wifty. Maybe a bit of a challenge. Actually, maybe do with like, the big bag and support package. That will help us with transfer these out uh, these type spaces. Let's we get a skistier loader. Bar one, perhaps. So, so how much is skistier loader? Like 50 grand or so? Yeah, 50, 35 grand even. But yeah, sorry, anyways. We'll figure out that out in the next episode. Hello, chickens. But yeah, as always, hope you enjoyed the episode. If so, smash that button. Feel free to comment down below. If you want to share it, please be my guest. If you're not subscribed to the channel yet, then please consider. But very much to do. Hope you're nice today. But for now, it's me, Farmer, Envoy Extreme. And I'll see you all very soon.